Pop him on live. Okay. Okay. Got the camera going. So, and I see, so I should be live. Okay. Okay, I should be live. <clears throat> Hopefully people can see me. Julie's messaging me on Okay. And I cannot see if people are messaging me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to get started here. So I'm still trying to figure out this live stuff. It's actually crazy because I've done it a couple times and then every time I go to do it, it's like I'm doing it for the first time. But I am trying. So. Okay. Maybe Julie, if you're on, you could send me a text on my phone and see. Mom, you're live. Okay. Okay, I'm live. I know, I know. Okay, so. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's coming up soon. Today's March 1st and I thought we'd get a jump on it and I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up these really cute tin cans. They were like 150. Everything was 50% off. And I also have a vase ready to go. So I just got some ribbon and I put the tricolor on there, green, white, and orange for the Irish flag. And I'll be doing a vase arrangement. So first I got four of these tin cans. And usually the tin cans are coated and they're pretty easy to work with, but sometimes they do leak. So I'm using a plastic baggie. I've got my wet oasis that I already pre-soaked and it's a container. You can do it in the sink or bucket. I have shaved off a little bit of the bottom. I don't know if you can see, it's more round so it fits in the bucket and the top's more square. So first, I'm going to put it into the baggie. You want to see my assistant? Come here. My assistant. That's Odie. <laughs> okay. So, put it in the baggie, and then I put it in the bucket. That way, if it does decide to leak in a couple days, you're covered. Because sometimes it, it just starts to seep through. And then... I am cutting off the part I don't really need now. The flowers that I've chosen for today, I got at Produce Junction. And anybody that's watched before, I like to spend between $20 and $25 because um, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on the flowers, and I'm sure you don't either. So I'll show you what I've got in here. And I went with the green, white, and orange theme as well. And I'll show you how they're great there to work with. And my, okay. So I got 10, I think 10 roses, maybe 12. They were $8. At Valentine's, they were 15 so the price went down, thank God. And I have this guy. I'm not even sure what this is called, but I thought it was a great texture, and I love the color of it. I have white spray roses, which I love to work with spray roses because when they open up, it just makes everything really full. And I have September, white September. You might know it as Aster. What I love about these is it has these long branches. And you can actually break them down and also use them separately so it doesn't just have to be the one clump okay now oh and i got this stuff i loved what this looked like it's it's kind of like a it's like a shrub or something because it's a it's a hard wood um branch and it has these these ball things at the top which i think this is Runia, that's from Australia. It's very similar to other ones in the family. 
Okay, so let me take my glasses off. So, I can so what I'm going to do first is do this little arrangement. And this green stuff, I'm going to pull apart and use it to cover the oasis. So I'm going to take the little branches down off the side. So I'm pulling them all off. And then I'm just going to take one and stick it right down in the middle to get coverage. And then I'm going to go back and fill in the rest of the oasis to cover it. Okay. So, your curtain thing is okay. Okay. So, all right. So, covering it. And I want to make sure that the plastic bag gets hidden, so I'm just going to tuck it down around into the bucket. All right. So, I thought I'd talk about what's going on in the market because the market has been super crazy. And especially if you're on a buyer side, you have to deal with bidding wars if you're trying to buy a property. And the bidding wars have gone to the point where people are not getting inspection home inspections done they're bidding twenty thousand over asking they're closing within three weeks there's a lot of cash buyers coming in i mean it's just like blown up so i think one of the reasons for that is people have sold their homes very quickly and then they're forced to get into another home and it's just creating this frenzy where everybody is fighting over everything in certain school districts to try to get in there and it's just made it super crazy. I've had a couple buyers that actually uh, decided to stay put or I've had a buyer, a first time home buyer that decided to just rent again. So that's kind of what's happening to some people as well. And hey, if it, the market isn't gonna stay like this forever and if it's not right for you right now, don't feel like you have to get caught up in the frenzy and do what everybody else is doing. Do what is always right for you, right? That's my best advice I can give anybody, really. Okay, so I'm taking, I've taken actually two of these. And I think I need a third one to cover. So what I'm doing is taking the bucket and I'm covering it with all this green stuff. Kind of looks like moss, but it's real kind of soft look. Yeah, I'd love to have Irish music playing in the background for you, but I just feel like it'd be flagged by YouTube or Facebook or whomever, and I wouldn't be allowed for it. So, okay. Yeah, I have the Oasis in here. It's nice and saturated. And then every couple days, you can just go back and water it. And I want to make sure that I'm covering low down by where the edge of the bucket is. Okay. Turning it. Okay. Okay. Now, St. Patrick's Day last year was completely canceled as far as everything goes for it. I'm not really sure what's going on this year as far as parades. Um, I do know in Ireland they have a lockdown situation. It was supposed to be until March 5th. Now it's until may and people were in dublin protesting the other day because they've been in lockdown since christmas eve it's tough my son's living over there at the moment and they can't go three miles five kilometers past their home and the only place they can go to is the supermarket and that's it so it's been really really super tough okay so i have this covered here my little bucket and now i'm going to add a couple of the orange roses remember always cut on an angle so that you get a good water intake especially if you're putting this into oasis it's not like it's sitting in water you want to make sure you have a good good amount so i'm actually going to put three of these orange roses in here one two three maybe he's trying to eat the stuff off the floor here Okay, so what can you do if you need to buy and, and you get into a bidding war? What are some things that you can do? Well, I think one of the things is 
not always going to be the price. Maybe having a flexible closing date so maybe you can be flexible with your settlement and let the sellers choose and that might make you seem more attractive. Maybe offer to pay 1% or um, a half percent of the transfer tax because buyer and seller each are responsible for that. So maybe throw it out there and say that with your offer and your flexible settlement date that you'd be willing to um, that you would be willing to pay for part of the transfer tax. Just It just sets you apart and makes you look a little bit different. A lot of people are waiving inspections. Um, I personally don't like to tell my clients to do that because I would never want something to come up down the road that is very unfortunate and is gonna cost them lots of money. And I would never waive inspections for myself either. But I can tell people that if other bids are in and people are waiving inspections, that that might be something that they would have to consider if they want to win the bid. So ultimately, it's up to them, like what they need to, um, what they need to do for themselves and what's best for them and their family. So, okay, Julie, Julie can't find me. I'm sorry you can't find me, Julie. I've done this during the day, and Julie, Julie has said, you do it during the day when I'm working. And I thought, you know what, I'll do one in the evening. And now she can't find me. Um, it's on, let me see. I'll tell her, I'm just going to text her. On my Chester County Facebook and my Julie Real Estate. Sorry. Okay. I should just put it on my regular page. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. So now I'm taking the aster and I've pulled up all, I've pulled the branches off of the main one because you can get a lot of mileage off this. So I just take it from the bottom, pull them off. And then I'm also cutting it down where I can use even more of them. So you just, you can actually use one stem and get a lot out of it. It's, re it's really great to break down. And I think for this arrangement, it's really cute because it looks like little daisies and that is a sign of spring, which is great because we've had so much snow lately that everybody is dying for spring to come and warmer weather and not all the mush outside with now what's happening with the snow melting. So. Something else that's happening in the real estate market is, and this has happened to me, people are getting creative with trying to find homes and there's some private sales going on. And what that means is as a real estate agent, I might have a buyer and know of a seller, but the seller doesn't want to deal with tons of people coming into their house and tons of bidding wars. So they're doing private sales, which means they're not actually putting it in the MLS and as an agent, if I have a buyer, I can bring the buyer to their home, but it's understood that they might be taking a little bit less because it's not going to be a bidding war situation and um, they're going to be able to sell their home without getting caught up in the frenzy. So that is something that, sorry, what is, can you call him away? He's like eating something okay, here. here. Thank you. He's probably eating some of my flowers. Okay. So this is my cute little tin can. So we start, if you're just joining, start it with this with Oasis in it. I put a little plastic baggie in here in case it starts leaking. Sometimes during the week, these metal things start leaking. And I've put two stems of this green in here, just a little bit of the aster, three roses, and one, I broke apart one spray rose in here. And that's it. So I actually have four of these that I'm going to do up and bring them into the office. So when I have them in the office, I'll post a photograph of what they look like. So next, I just want to do a vase arrangement. If you want to look, make it look like St. Patrick's Day, all I did was take some uh, green, white, and orange ribbon tied on here. That's the Irish tricolor flag. Or you can get, actually at Hobby Lobby, I got these really cute shamrock ribbons 
and they actually did not have these out and when i went to pay i told the woman i was looking for shamrock ribbon and she told me to go back to the material section and when i went back there the lady said that they had just come in and she went back and got them out of a box so pays to ask and 50 percent off so all together i spent 25 on flowers uh and probably around 20 on the tin cans the ribbon and i got um little sprinkly shamrocks and i got a shamrock pin and also these i can place these around um the shamrocks so okay vase arrangement i always say that the rule of thumb for your vase arrangement is however tall your vase is you want your flower arrangement to be at least that tall so it's equal proportions a lot of times you see a tall vase and then very short flowers or the opposite because people get the bouquets of flowers at the supermarket or flower shop and they come home they put them in a short vase and they're like way up here and it just looks very funny so always keep in mind the rule of thumb is whatever the length of your vase is you want to have that basically out the top or a little bit more it can be a little bit taller okay so what I'm going to do first with these stop go away is I want to put in actually I'm gonna put this brunia in I'm not sure what this is called I think it's brunia and I think it's from Australia really cool texture I love putting different texture of things um, it's some sort of shrubbery anyway so I'm gonna cut it and then as per usual what I always do is I strip all of this so rather than sticking all this hairy stuff into the vase it's only gonna make it get mucky water I actually strip all of this off and I just take my hand and pull it right down and strip it off I'm gonna do it over I have a green bin here okay see I've just stripped it clean and I'm gonna put it in my vase so I'm gonna put a couple of these in okay as a seller in this market you want to be ready to know where you're going because when your house sells and it will sell because it used to be people would say oh should I sell first or buy first now definitely you want to be able to buy first because your place is going to sell quickly and you want to know where you're going you don't want to be caught go away everybody please honey this is not for you not for dogs okay. so you should really have your timeline moved up some people are forced into there's tons of rentals that are just maybe three month rentals five month rentals there's a lot of them cropping up and people have have to actually before they get to purchase their new place, go into a rental property, which means that a lot of sellers have to move, move twice now, which isn't always fun, but you get through it. You always get through it, don't you? Okay, so I put this brunia in here, and I'm gonna put another one in. I'm really liking it. I just think it's really super cool. Okay, more filler flowers before I put my main flowers in. So, here's another stem of aster. Remember I said, and when you go to Produce Junction, when I went there, I pick up all these and I look to see what are the real thick full. Don't just pull one because you like it. Go through them all and be a little bit picky. I picked one that was a lot heavier and these are a lot bigger than some of the other ones. So I can pull all of these off, okay, and make it. Now, what I'm going to do with this one because it has three stems on it, I'm going to actually stick that in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle here. I need to make it a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to put all the other ones around the side. Okay. So this is just starting to fill in. So I always make a base and put all my filler flowers in first because then you can just place exactly where you want to put your um, feature flowers, like my roses and more expensive flowers. Go away, Odie, please, honey. Okay. All right. 
So another thing for sellers, you want to make sure you have your property looking fantastic. There's such a frenzy out there and you will get your offers, but you want to make sure that you're getting your, I mean, pe people are putting bids on places that nothing is selling for asking price. And a lot of times the asking price already is high. So you want to be prepared that, and you want to make sure that if everybody else is getting above asking price, that you're going to get above asking price too. And you need to position yourself like that. And a way to do that is have your house looking perfect. So if you have to get it repainted, replace that carpet, get a little storage unit and move everything out and stage your house because remember HGTV has ruined everybody. Nobody has vision anymore. So everybody expects places to be staged, but it really does help sell a place and it really does give everybody, the buyers a good feeling and you will get offers above asking um, in this market if, if it's priced correctly to start anyway. Okay, so can you see this is kind of looking full here all right so we have our green and our white i am going to add some gray roses in here and i always say rule of the odd numbers so you're i'm either going to put three in or five in um probably five so what i would do is feature one at the top if you can see that this is a pretty tall vase okay one at the top here and then i'm going to put four around the side and they need to be a little bit a little bit shorter see, see that's coming outside side okay now. renters anybody renting same thing for buyers. Renters are finding it very difficult and people are fighting over properties. So you want to make sure you have your credit in order. That's one of the first, the first video I did was about your credit. You want to make sure everything is in order. So get your credit report and make sure everything that is on there is actually true. Because sometimes credit reports have old or incorrect, or maybe your name is exactly the same as somebody else's name, but it's something bad is showing up on yours. So you wanna actually get the credit report yourself. I think it's like $30. And you wanna go over it and make sure that, it, that it's perfect. So by the time you have to give it to somebody for a reference for, to rent a place that it's good to go and you're not sitting there with surprises. Okay, I am going to add this green in here as well put one on that side kind of having it come up the top here because it's really nice texture on it too I, I have to look up the name of this i just can't remember what it is okay okay see how this is looking pretty full here and i have five stems of spray roses i have four brunia no sorry i have three brunia and I have two stems of aster that I've taken apart. And now I'm going to add my feature flower, which is my beautiful orange roses. Aren't these gorgeous? I think this is one of the most beautiful color, which sounds weird for weddings, because against white dresses, this really, really looks so well in photographs. Okay, so I am going to cut them. Any leaves that I think are going to get lost, I just pop off because we don't need them. And I'm going to put them in there. So we're going to put five around and one in the middle, just like the spray roses. Okay. So that's it. Once I get the hang of this live stuff, I'll probably be able to take any questions that anybody has um, because it's really, really hard for me to do too many things at once right now, unfortunately, but I'll get there. Right, right, Kirby? Sure. <laughs> I don't know if they have faith in me, right? These techie kids. Okay. All right. So here we are. Here's my vase arrangement. I'll come back here. What do you think, Odie? Huh? Okay. All right. So. 
And I could I could put sticks out of here. I did that um, in the last one, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it's pretty. So, thanks for joining me, the couple people that did. I appreciate you watching, and I hope to be able to do a little bit better and bring you more and more information about flowers and about real estate. So thanks for watching the Flower Realtor. Take care. Happy St. Patrick's Day.